do a response video or not um, you know I mean there's there's so much that I could go into about the Great British Con House and Ian Lambert and you know um, his so called business partner who has also served a long prison sentence maybe you should ask him what that was for um, but to be honest it's I think all you need to do is actually go across and actually watch the video in concern, you know, concerned. Um, Ian seems to have major issues with um, certain words. Um, doesn't seem to understand them too well. Maybe somebody should buy him a dictionary. Um, treason, subliminal advertising. You know, if you're actually holding an item up. Um, it's not subliminal um, advertising. You're an absolute moron. Um, and and just go across and actually you know listen to it. And it it, it, it starts off. Uh, it was over um, him making a uh, a video a few days back about what he really thought about myself, Hannah, Lou, Steve, etc. Uh, and in that video concerned he says he wishes us all the best blah 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 um, and he'd actually sponsor our channels so purely to call his bluff I said go ahead then sponsor me Ian because I knew that you wouldn't it was a, the same as everything with Ian it's all a front you know his business is a front for a fucking shady operation there's no two ways about it, you know. It's not slander. The man's a convicted fraudster. You know. Multiple bankruptcies behind him. Multiple bankruptcies behind him. So it was calling his bluff. You know. Maybe somebody should teach him a game of poker. Um, and then he, he, he comes back today with this response video that's... Um, I don't really know what to make of it if I'm honest. It starts off criticising me because I went on camera without having a shave. Then about the shirt that I was wearing, or jumper that I was wearing. Um, and if I wanted sponsorship I should have been wearing a shirt and a tie. Um, get it through. I didn't want your sponsorship. Uh, I would have crucified you, trust me. Um, so I didn't want your sponsorship. It was calling your bluff to see if you were a man of your word, which, to be honest with you, thousands and thousands of people know that you're not. Um, then it goes on to continually question my mental health and the state of my mental health. Um, which I thought find quite concerning, if I'm honest. Um, I mean, it, 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 it's bordering on bullying, um, you know, intimidation tactics, um, and it won't work. It, it doesn't work with me. Um, and I think for anybody, really, if, if you're sat on the fence and, and not knowing what to, to make of all of it, go across and watch that video. Because um, it's just horrendous. And this is supposedly a man that's on the spectrum himself. Absolute joke. You know, I mean, maybe that's what he's going to do. Maybe he's going to come out in a month's time and say, oh, I didn't mean it, I was having an episode. Who knows? Never know with that man. Um, you know, if he's not constantly uploading videos begging people, literally begging people for their money, um, that's how desperate the man is. Um, then he's slagging me off. Um, I guess I should be quite honoured um, that he feels necessary that it, you know, I'm that important that I warrant watch time on his channel. So I guess, yeah, um, crack on, mate. You know. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but there's so many things that I could come out with and you know but it's just it's not worth it you've only got to go across and watch one of his videos and it shows you exactly the man that he is um, the Royal Mint admit treason because they remove 8 to Z 10 P's from their tills whoa shock horror the A to Z's are back in the tills today you absolute mong uh, <laughs> criticising me because I hadn't had a shave before I went on camera uh, rewind bow selector maybe you need to put your teeth in before you go on camera <laughs> you know pot kettle and all that <laughs> but I think what's more worrying um, and concerning to be honest is this so called um, I was going to call her his better half but she certainly isn't better um, she's not his wife so I can't call him that call her that um, I don't know his partner um, and she's supposedly a qualified therapist who deals with people with mental health issues and she's at the forefront of all of this you'll notice that she's appearing in more and more videos uh, and this is allegedly from a qualified experienced therapist um, make of that what you will um, I don't know maybe it's maybe this is her therapy for him you know um, <laughs> he certainly needs something <coughs> um, and uh, you know it, it's just it's, it's comical it really really is comical um, and the third part is that people buy into it you know and people are investing hard earned money you're never ever going to see a penny of that back I can absolute cast iron guarantee you that now the best you will do is get that back in points to spend on a site that's got fuck all on it you know we haven't called it the Great British Con House for nothing it's a reason that it's been called that uh, <laughs> you think you know you think oh, I'm being bitter or whatever fine think that just go back over the last week and watch his videos every single one of them is begging for something he comes up with this wonderful new idea then an hour later he's got another idea and all these ideas involve you giving him your money you people need to wake up. Now, regardless of whether I reported him or Joe Bloggs reported him, on two occasions his crowdfunding page was taken down. There was a reason it was taken down. Because it was breaching the terms and conditions of crowdfunding. You know? Um... I don't see that as petty if you're breaching the conditions it shouldn't be on there end of um, you're actually breaching some serious conditions now by having it on your white Facebook uh, on your um, Great British Con House page um, it's breaching some serious conditions but you know it's alright that will come knocking in due course but you know I just think it says so much about the man when you sit there and watch the the pure hatred and anger um, that he's got inside him and all of this stems from the fact that he's ruined what could have been a perfectly good business what could have been a perfectly good channel that he had it's now shot to pieces because he's got nobody on there streaming he's got no auctions no raffles you know he's got nothing going on in his channel it's just a joke all it is is him uploading on a daily basis oh I'm gonna sue them in oh I'm gonna sue them in ooh, ooh, ooh. has anybody even seen a letter from a solicitor have you even heard of a solicitor's name you know let's not beat about the bush now this investment to sue them in has been on his website for months and months and months and 
people have been donating for months and months because they buy into his bullshit not one letter has been shown not one letter not one solicitor's name has been mentioned it is all a total pack of lies he is a serial con man again don't believe me fine take an hour out of your time and google his name google Ian P Lambert Ian P Lambert Weymouth you'll see countless countless news articles about him you'll also discover that he owns another company that has also got a current crowdfunding uh, on it um, got in a bit of trouble actually because they were trying to raffle off a house that didn't exist or a flat that didn't exist um, you know <sighs> I'd like to say an Arthur Daly or a, a Dell boy but do you know those were kind of lovable rogues um, and he's not he's dangerous um, and he, he's going to cause a lot of people hardship if you people keep buying into his bullshit um, as I say you know the fact that this so called partner, friend, whatever you want to call it I mean I think I will just call it it from here on um, I mean this is supposedly a qualified therapist that deals with people with mental health issues um, and she's a party to all of this um, which does constitute um, online um, bullying you know um, Reports have already been made with the police, so, you know, I'm happy to let it go. I was more than happy to let everything go, to be perfectly honest. I'd moved on. Um, I'd removed videos that had caused him offence, even though there were plenty on his channel that caused me offence. Um, not anymore. They're back on my channel and they'll stay on my channel. Um, I put out that olive branch and he snapped it in half and shoved it up his ass, so it can fucking stay there now <laughs> and get used to having things shoved up your ass fella because when you're back inside <laughs> oh man but yeah you know so that's it you know and as far as I'm concerned this is the last video I will ever be making on the Great British Con House so that's my response you know go across have a look at the video in question you'll see it